Uh, hello friends, welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, you might recognize this scenario here from our previous video's thumbnail, which I probably could have saved for this video, but I decided not to, because it kind of correlated, but I didn't build this... Uh, some of this I didn't build in a previous video, but I wanted to show you guys what I kind of did here, because I finally automated this. So, okay, for those of you who aren't following along, we're in our space base right now. Um, this black void, there it goes. Uh, this is our space station. And I can show you from the outside really quick. Um, and it's kind of hard to decipher right now, but this is the uh, cockpit and it's in the raised position here. So this is the control station. And then this is the uh, entire base. Yeah, okay. So, now that you're caught up, if you weren't already, let's head back in here. So, right now, since it's in the raised position, we can't uh, walk into it because it's up there. So, what we do, we're going to just call it down here. Then we're good. We can walk up. Alright, ta-da! Alright, and then we can uh, walk up over to the control desk here. I'm not I'm not done with this room yet, obviously, right? And then once we're in our captain seat... We're good. Now I need to be careful because... Yeah, I was just bumping the... Uh, this driving controls and I don't have all the uh, thrusters done yet <laughs> so I got to be careful not to not to bump that and then uh, I couldn't the way I, I built this uh, I couldn't quite fit holograms where I wanted to because they obstruct the block where this is so we're, we're just kind of making it work whoops Okay, I'm not used to having these automated doors yet, so you're going to have to work with me a little bit. The only time it's not automated is when you are exiting, which I could probably fix that, but I don't think it's a big deal to have to hit the button once. So anyways, uh, yeah, so we this is, this is where we're at. Are we moving? No, no, because I think it's still a station. I think. Anyways. Oh. One more thing. Um. This is gonna be the thruster array. I just need to go get the, uh... Thruster components for the rest of them. So there's, there's two for every direction for right now. That is enough to move it. It's just not very fast, which is fine. Uh, eventually we, we could potentially add more, but I don't know that I would necessarily want this thing to accelerate at supersonic speeds. Um, I also thought about using hydrogen over ion, but I think it's easier to, uh, generate electricity than it is to gather ice and water, especially, I don't know. I, I really haven't thought too much about it. I think I'd just rather do electricity. Anyways, uh, let's just go down here because today we are going to work on the, uh, the hatch for bringing in the ships. And I worked this out in creative already, uh, so it should be a little less tedious. So the ships are going to come in from down here. And what we're going to do is, I, originally I wanted to have a hinge system, so like a double door opening up. Um, but I was having some problems with the hinges, and then when you came back down for closing, the, the two splits would collide and they wouldn't close properly. Uh, so we're just not going to do it that way. So what we're going to do is I'll disconnect it here um, at these segments, and then this whole two layers right here will slide out of the way uh, on the outside. 
but I'll conceal the uh, the system in here. So where is it? Over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put pistons out from this point. So it'll be like ten pistons coming straight out to here, and then I'll connect it up with a merge block and then disconnect this. Well, no, not not this far back here. And then I'll have a, a shaft come up, hit it with a merge block, and then uh, well, when these are all extended out, they're going to be all the way over here. I'm trying to get my head on straight here. It's kind of late. It's Thanksgiving Day. I'm full of food. So when the 10 pistons extend all the way out, they're going to stop about here. I'll hit it with a merge block, disconnect all this, and then when it sucks back in, it'll stop here and be completely out of the way and then we'll have this whole area to to bring in ships which this is perfectly big for any ship I, I'm planning on building hopefully if not we could always go up another layer that's kind of the beauty of this is uh, these rings are all detachable so when I say a ring I mean like this is a ring this is a ring right so it, it's I don't want to say it's modular but it kind of is, like, if I really wanted to, I could split this whole thing in half. So, like, just so we're on the same page, let's say that's the top, that's the bottom. I could split this in half all the way around and put, like, hinges <laughs> right here, and I could open this whole thing up like an egg. Would it work? I don't know. It would be cool, but that's, that's a little excessive, so we're not going to do that. But, uh... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go round up the materials to do this, because I'm not going to be able to do it in one trip. Uh, I did move our ship, our commandeered ship over here. So we have a lot of the materials, but we don't have them all. So I'm going to work on that. Alright, uh, I think I, I kind of got this figured out. Uh, I don't think there's a way to do something I want to do, um, which is make the door open from the hot bar of the ship that I'm currently controlling. Uh, so until I can figure something like that out, in the meantime, uh, we got to hit shift K and then uh, control and then we can open the door. Ta-da! And then we have to exit out. And the door slowly opens it looks like it's slow but i mean it's you have to take into consideration of how ginormous that thing is and then we just fly into the uh into the belly of the beast and then we can control and we can <laughs> shut the door right behind us and then now we are uh, inside, and we can very, uh, very carefully bring our ship up. Ship fuel low. So, uh, ship docking ship fuel low. is probably gonna have to be on a different level. just because of the uh, the clearance we're working with here yeah I wanted to uh, line it up with the lower deck but that ain't gonna work out I ideally I would like to be able to dock all my ships and I will probably redesign my ships around it I would like to be able to uh, connector dock the ships so we can just walk out of them obviously this isn't the setup <laughs> to do it but I would like to be able to just walk out onto our ship from our ship onto the deck or and vice versa but oh my gosh this is hilarious how like big this is and the fact that it's in here with us right now This is cool, but now, like, all my materials that I've been working with are right here, so I don't have to run for them. But, 
Yeah, I don't know quite how I want to do this yet. I also don't know if that's where I'm going to keep my... Ugh, excuse me. If that's where I'm going to keep all the thrusters or not. Not sure yet. That's uh, to be determined. A shipyard will definitely have to be on a lower deck. That is uh, for certain... Which is making me now rethink some other things, which is probably a bad idea. So we probably just need to have a area where you go down to the shipyard. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably what's going to need to happen. Well, so now that we got a ship in here, uh, I definitely, like I said, I need to think about how I want to dock ships and, and things of that matter. So I'm going to... I'm going to think about that. And I might relocate these, but we'll see how that goes, and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, I've kind of got a plan in motion here. Uh, I'm having some intersecting issues with some of this stuff, so I'm going to have to shuffle some things around. I don't want to get too crazy with it, though, because a lot of this stuff is, like, programmed. And uh, I don't know if I want to deal with that again. But uh, this is where the shipyard is going to be, so I'm going to mirror mirror this on the other side over to here and then the idea this is still a rough draft is you'll come down here and there'll be a ship like right here and uh, this I'll have the catwalks come out to the width of the ship and then they'll come straight out so you could either I guess it, it would depend on the ship right so you could either walk straight onto the ship or you could walk onto the side. I don't know. I, I'm envisioning what I want to do. Anyways, uh, I want to move our thrusters. This was kind of a temporary spot. And I don't want to tear them down one at a time. So we're going to do this with a connector and some merge blocks. And I'm still not entirely sure where I'm going to move this. I might go stick it over there for now since I don't think it's going to be too bad to move it. And we're going to use the biggest, most cumbersome ship we have. To do this okay we've got it attached now we just need to uh, gently caress it over to a spot where we can attach it well that went surprisingly smooth that's a good spot for it for now it's out of the way all right so I've done a lot okay it, a lot um, I kind of got a kick and I got moving and I just kept going and I didn't stop and here we are so I'm not this isn't nothing is done yet by far I've just kind of got a start on a lot of things so um, yeah flashbang so the first thing I did was I extended out this upper deck and this is still temporary the medical station but I kind of wanted to have this like a decorative hangout area, and this is kind of the concept. I just need to figure out how to fill it in and not make it look cluttered, but make it look busy at the same time. I don't know. Anyways, so this is where I want to put all the refineries, all the assemblers. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to put the storage in here. I think I'm, I'm going to hide the storage or make another section for it. But uh, we have this staircase that comes down, and then we can walk amongst the uh, industrial equipment that's three to four blocks tall so I picked that height for all the industrial stuff so we can see out over the top of it is kind of the idea and it'll hopefully kind of look like a maze uh, once it's all put in there or just like a really busy room and then uh, down here yeah, the lighting is a little inconsistent I'll probably fix that um, and I don't know what to do for colors yet. That's something I'm kind of struggling with. Uh, and then we've got these blast doors here. The world's slowest doors. And uh, right now, this just goes into nothingness. But this is going to be a hallway eventually. So it'll junction out left and right. If we try to go straight, we're more or less at the end of the top section of the sphere we're at. Kind of. But, so yeah, these, these are going to be hallways here. It'll run that way and that way. And uh, we'll branch off to more rooms when I realize what those rooms are going to be. I kind of have ideas. 
I just haven't uh, gotten to executing them yet. So let's head back over here. And I'll show you what else we got going on. So uh, let's let's go into mission control here. <laughs> I need some music, man. I need some elevator music. All right. Um, the rooms are pressurized now, so I do have to make sure I am practicing the, uh, the proper door procedures. So, first thing I did, I just added a second control seat, because I didn't build this with a single center access point. And then, um, I added ceiling lights in here, which really helped open it up. And then I was just messing around with the tables and the projections and stuff. Uh, I tried to do a projection of the ship we're in right now but it was huge like stupid even scaled down as far as you could scale it down it was like the 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 center point was clipping through the ceiling so it's just not doable i would like to think that you could potentially uh <laughs> get a mod or if maybe the developers could make it so you can scale down even more that would be really cool i don't know there might be a mod for it but in the meantime, I just have this here. It's it's chilling, looking pretty good. Uh, I did turn my flashlight off. Having a hard time with the lights, uh, balancing the lights out. It's definitely tricky, but we're definitely still getting that look I wanted. Uh, I think I might paint the window frames black, just so when we're out in space, they disappear a little bit better. And this, this is still wiggling. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see if I... Well, if I fly... Well, I guess we can't tell if I'm flying, but... When we're standing on it, you can tell it's wiggling a little bit. I don't know what I need to do there. If I need to add another piston. I think the inertia share is on. I don't know. Let's go down. I'll show you the other area here and we'll check while we're there. We good? Good. Everything's good, right? Oxygen? Check. Alright, let's go out to the the shipyard. This area I just kind of wrapped up. Not really wrapped up, I kind of just mocked it up. So all of our ships are in here right now, except for the giant mining rig. And these catwalks aren't actually welded. So this was kind of the... Okay, don't mind this. Don't mind the, the, the cargo turd, okay? But... This is kind of the idea I wanted to have. This worked out really well with the freighter. Is It's got the catwalk on top. Don't mind it not being lined up. But we can just walk off of the catwalk and then onto the freighter. And it is connected. Uh, these two are connected. And then our mining rig is here right now supplying uh, oxygen. And then if we fly... Oh, while we're right here. Uh, you. Right here. Come on, game. You can do it. Yeah, okay. The inertia tensor is on. Yeah, okay. So I don't know what might need to happen there. If we need to add a second piston, like over here, potentially, just parallel to it. If that might help strengthen it. But anyways, uh, this is kind of the catwalk concept I wanted. It, it, it's, it's hard to build it... Um, I wanted to build it in a kind of universal way, but since this is the only pre-built ship I have, it's kind of difficult. Uh, I do want to start doing missions soon and start stacking up some cash. And I, I, I want to try and buy some of the pre-built ships just for fun and to, and to see them. Like the Corvette that costs like 400 million credits or something insane like that. But uh, yeah, and just to have them in here, you know. Because, like, I like my ship. It's cool. To me. <laughs> Anyways. But, uh... I don't know. It does alright. And the garage door... Got that working. I had to put an antenna on this one. Uh, did not put an antenna on this one. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Ugh, that scared me. I had some problems with this airlock. I tried using this door. This is the uh, offset door. So what I did was I had the offset door. And then I had a lighted corridor. 
and then I had another offset door here and for some reason it would be airtight like 90% of the time but then every once in a while it would let all the air out and it would not re uh, it would not repressurize the room it would just like refuse to do it so I don't know what the deal was there but this is kind of where we're sitting I need to make this room uh, not so flashbangy I don't quite know what to do I've been thinking about it uh, <laughs> the wood the wood is really cool but it just doesn't Ooh, that's gross that's icky hold on what color don't I use that one uh, uh. do you like Ooh, yeah, yeah. That would be like. Can I paint the furniture with it? Oh, I can. Ooh. So, I can definitely see having like a cozy feeling um, inside of like a spaceship, you know? Like, uh, you always see maybe like the, the captain quarters. It is really nice, and then the rest of the ship is, like, space ag, And it, you know, when you walk in, it's like you're not in the ship anymore. Okay, yeah, so the the disappearing couch, isn't it? There's, that's too much gray already. I need to fix the handrails. Uh, I think I remember... I think I did silver and then the color I was on actually. Um, then if we come from this side, is that right? Tell me game. Oh, I don't like that. Ah. No. Ah, oh, man, I'm so bad with this paint tool. No. No. What am I painting? And this is chaos. Chaos, I tell you. Uh, you know, maybe that, maybe that wouldn't be so bad, having that, uh, hangover like that. Okay, can we do this without, what is that? It's not my color. There. That, that, and just for my sanity, kind of, just doing this half. Um, maybe that's not so bad, because it kind of gives it a trim and it, divides it a little bit the gray here is not working though but back to that mmm that's not great I don't know ah the buttons the buttons over there are made out of wood who made wood buttons I mean it Realistically, it's kind of cool, but I don't know. That ah, not the ATM. Okay, what? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's like I ran around with a paintbrush in in a bucket and just like slung it everywhere. How did I even do that? Anything else I need to know about? Actually, actually. Wait. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do the whole wall, though. Thought about it for a second. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. I'm thinking about it. I might have to look for some inspiration. I got a lot to figure out yet. Uh, I'm gonna have to watch some like some sci-fi movies, get some ideas. Maybe I don't know. We'll watch like the Orville, maybe Star Trek. I don't know. See see what's going on. See if I can get some ideas. 
and then see what I can work with in game here. So, all right. Well, I think I'm gonna close this one off here. If you guys are enjoying, I was gonna tell you to hit the like button, but you're gonna do that if 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 you're gonna do it. I'm not gonna tell you to do it. You know, same thing with subscribing. You can. It'd be cool if you did, but I'm not gonna tell you to. Because that's weird, and I don't like it when people tell me to subscribe. It kind of makes me not want to do it. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks for sticking around for the whole video, and I will see you in the next one.